Good morning, everyone. I'm Lorella. I'm not a farm girl. This is my homestead adventure. Today when I came out to do chores, I noticed that the fence, electric fence, was popping. And I thought, well, it rained last night, so sometimes it does that. But then I noticed, and you might be able to see it over there behind me, it's actually down. So all of the animals are here, um, but I gotta fix it. So right now Chris is on his way up to the equipment shed to turn the fence off so that I can work on it. All right, so the first thing you have to do is walk along the fence and find the spot where it's broken. And it looks like right there. Okay, let me uh, get set up so I can get it fixed. Got the walkie-talkie. Waiting on Lorella to hit us up uh, to turn off the electric fence. The tools for this job are pretty simple. I've got scissors to cut the wire. I've got the extra wire. And I've got a walkie-talkie so I can communicate with Chris. Hey Chris, are you in the shed? 10-4, I'm in the shed. I'm ready for the fence to be off. Okay, the fence is off, you're good to go. Thanks. You can see that this is black, so it was kind of sparking in there. Kind of like a short, and that's probably what happened here. The reason that it broke through. So I'm going to check along the line for knots and places where we've joined it together, cut it, and put in a new section. So I think I'm actually going to come all the way back to here, to this spot. And we'll start behind that, and then I'll find up there a good, plot, a good place to uh, tie it in. That's one of the good things about this poly wire. It's pretty easy to fix. And I'm going to go all the way back here where it was tied together and just put in a whole new section. I don't know why it broke. Can't really tell what made it short out. It might have been, it looks like this plant right here might have been leaning on it. I don't know. But we're going to fix it. All right, so I'm simply going to tie these two ends together. And then pull it tight. Now I'm simply going to move down the line with the spool. Find the other spot where I cut it and tie it together. I'm going to loop it around this a time or two just to make sure it's tight. There we go. And then, just in case, this plant is what was causing that short because it's right about here. I'm just going to pull the weed up. Or grass, I guess. It's not actually weed. There we go. Easy fix. So we really like this poly wire. It allows us to move the animals into new sections. Uh, you can reconfigure the shape of it. It's, it's, um, once the animals learn that it shocks, they respect it. It works really well. We've used it with pigs, uh, cows, and horses. So even our dogs know to avoid it. So that's it. Thanks for watching, everybody. Oh, I guess I should tell Chris to turn it back on. All right, All right Chris, Chris, make, make it, it hot. 10-4, okay. making it hot. I 
I still hear it popping. So I'm gonna walk along the line and see where um, there's any plants that are leaning against it, like there were right here. And I'll just pull those up as we go. We've got a lot of popping. I'm gonna walk the fence line and pull up any plants that are leaning up against it. Can you turn it back off for me? Roger that, turn it off. Thank you. Fence is off. Chris loves these walkie-talkies. I think it's a holdover from his kid on a road trip day when they were caravanning. Um, but you know, they work, they get the job done. Let's just turn around and I'm just gonna work down this side. I can see right around that T-post. Right? there and that t-post is probably some of the problem and there's some right here too so it should be a pretty easy fit While I do this, I'm also going to visually inspect the line and look for any other places where it's fraying and uh, causing a short like that. Not only do those have a risk of breaking like we saw, they can also make the fence not as, um, the current not as strong. <laughs> We've still got a little bit of a pop going on, so I think that when it dries out, we'll need to come out with the mower and uh, just do a real good mow around all of it. All right, I'll meet you back at home. Smoke coming from the south pasture. I'm gonna go investigate that. Smoke coming from the south pasture. Oh, I see that. Looks like Norman and Diane are burning. That's on across the other side. Go check it out. Let me know. I'll see you at home. Looks just like a little trash fire going out there. up closer you can see that this was um, popping getting some kind of a I don't know I can't think of the word short yes the word is short 